Hey guys, what's up? It's Mick Guy, and I'm back at it again for a part two of this series, and it's really impressive that we got to hit uh, 50 likes on the last video in under 24 hours. So thank you all for the, um, the support on that last video coming back from a four month break. And yeah, okay, I'm, by the way, I'm gonna be making an update video soon just to let you guys know about the future of this channel and more. Okay, so today we're gonna be adding in um, bullets and you're gonna be able to shoot bullets with the button space, okay. So, the first thing we want to do is create a new sprite, and we're going to zoom in, we're going to make sure it's on bitmap, and with this black tool, we're going to shrink it down all the way, and all we're going to do is just draw it like, oops, oh, one here, one here, one here, one here, just draw it all the way down. There you go. Okay, so since the background is black, we're obviously not going to want to make this black, so I'm going to make this... Um, the same color that the earth's land was just because i think that would be pretty cool okay so the next thing we need to do is uh let's quickly name all our sprites so let's name this ship let's name this earth oh and let's name this one um bullet oh god there you go okay so the first thing we want to do is go into our ship and um, actually, before that, we want to go into our bullet and drag in a when flag is clicked and when a forever uh, for a forever loop. We're gonna say if the key space is being pressed, all we want to do is create a clone of myself, and we're going to wait until we're not having the key space pressed. So basically, this is gonna make it so that we can't hold the space uh down space bar down in order to rapidly shoot bullets this would make our game broken so instead what we're going to do is we're going to um make a um a way so that uh it will shoot uh only when you press it okay so the next thing we want to do is go into our clone and say when i start as clone we want to before we do that we're going to make a variable and we're going to call it bullet side and we're going to call it for this sprite only and what i want to do is set bullet side to zero here and when key space key is pressed we want to change bullet side by one so here i'll explain this in a little bit we're going to say if else so if let's see where's the module yeah if we're going to drag in an equals and we're going to say if bullet side mod two equals equals or equals zero we want to first of all we want to go here and we're going to say go to ship and we're going to check in our ship if the costume is centered at all which is extremely important so yes i uh, right there and so we're going to go back into our bullet and we're going to say if bullet mod two equals zero we want to move change x by and then we're gonna make this uh um, my guess is probably 15 pixels and all we want to do is oh please don't tell me okay whatever change it by negative 15 here and then after that what we want to do is we want to say repeat until touching edge and we want to move or change y by 10 and we're actually going to create a variable called bullet speed again for this spread only and we're going to set bullet speed to 10 or actually let's do 20 and then we want to say set bullets uh change y by bullet speed okay let's see how this works uh ooh. I was ex pretty accurate. Now let's let's slow this down a bit. So let's change this to five. And I just wanna see where the bullets are coming out of. Okay, so I think it's a little bit more than 15. So it should be 17 and negative 17. There we go. So you guys can see that it's alternating sides and it looks kind of weird because of how slow it is. So we're gonna change this back to 15 or yeah, there we go. 
and we want to uh, delete this clone after everything it has finished in the code. Okay, so uh, let's go through this and explain this one by one. But before I do that, I want to just say hide when I start and show when I'm a clone. Okay, so basically in this script, all we're doing is saying if key space is pressed, so the bullet, uh, the bullet trigger, I guess, and we can make this anything up here if you want. I think space is the best. And we're going to change bullet side by one. So essentially, bullet side is a variable that keeps track of whether the bullet is going to appear on the right side or the left side of the of the ship. And so here, basically, we're just making sure that you can't hold it down. As you can tell, if I hold it down, nothing's going to work. And so if you say, when I start as clone, we're going to show it back because this is the clone. We're going to make it go to the ship, which would be right here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, so if bullet side mod 2 equals 0. So this is saying if bullet side divided by 2, so checking if it's even, and getting the remainder and saying if the remainder is 0, that means that 2 is divisible into bullet side, which means we're going to show it on the right side. Else, it's going to be on the left side. So as you guys know in numbers, a number goes from odd, and then if you increase it by 1, it goes to even. So 1 is odd, 2 is even, 3 is odd, 4 is even, so on and so forth. You guys get it. Then all we're going to do is say repeat until our bullet touches the very top or the edge. And I think that's a good stop anyways. Um, we're going to change Y by bullet speed. So we're just going to make it go up. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. That's about it in this tutorial. This is what we made. And I think the best way to do this is to keep the tutorial short, but make a lot of them. And hopefully I can post a lot. Next week, I'm not. I'm going to be busy with camp, so I can't do it then. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Like the video. And yeah, thank you. Peace.